Hello everyone, my name is Tice RP, and today I will be doing a review on the Wheelock V7001-24. The Wheelock 7000 series of horn strobes were some of the first horn strobes ever on the market, if not the first ever horn strobes on the market. Instead of a light, an incandescent lamp that stayed on steadily, or an incandescent lamp with a flasher circuit, this has a xenon tube strobe. Like pretty much every device I have in my collection, but they were designed to reduce current draw and to uh, provide a better way of alerting the hearing impaired. This one in particular is the V7001. It has a vertical strobe and was meant to be just mounted flush. There also existed the regular 7001, which had a vertical strobe, the 7002, which is the most common, and the 7004, the AC version of the 7002. And there are four wire versions of the latter two models that that allowed for coating of the um, of the horn by the panel. And everything else was meant to be run on continuous. The four wire models also have some and have an advantage, as the two wire models, which pretty much are everyone knows this, but I'll explain anyway. The two wire models have the horn and the strobe wired in series, and the strobe draws a lot of current from the horns. So whenever it fires, it causes the horn to skip, causing the famous sound that the 7000 series is, is uh, very famous for. Later on during this produ during the production life of these of these horn strobes, they became tamper resistant and they also had terminal blocks. This one right here has pigtail wires, but once they gained terminals, they became the they added a T at the end of each model number and they also most of the time had had a tamper resistant grill on the horn. People think that the T stands for tamper resistant in those horn strobe models, but it actually stands for terminals. Like I said, this model has just pigtail wires and it has wires from the strobe wired directly into the horn causing the skipping. If this were a T-series one, no pun intended, um, it would have term a terminal block. And I actually have a 7002T rebranded by Pyrotronics, but it does not work at the moment, unfortunately. So I can't really do a video on that. This one is in working order, though. It was removed from a working system, and I actually got this from the eBay account of YouTube user Jack Williamson. Thank you for that. I, and it works really good. I'll demonstrate it for you. Just one more thing before I test the V7001. Uh, here's the 7002T I was, t I was talking about earlier. See, it's prior drunk sprinted and it doesn't work. And the sad thing is, I got this new in box. So here's the terminals. Got this new in box and it doesn't even work. Whereas this was removed from a system and it works fine. And that's kind of sad. So anyway, it has the terminal blocks and it has the uh, tamper resistant grill. Where this one has the open grill. Both of these are two wire and they skip. And that's what makes these so uh, unique, is they're, is they're skipping. So now I'll get to the test. Time for a demonstration. If you have epilepsy, please don't watch this video and I also advise you to turn your volume down. Here you go.
All right, there you go. That was the test of my Wheelock V7001-24. Please like, comment, and subscribe.